part two of my moving vlog. This is roughly the layout that I was thinking. Three of these ones. Baking goods and things. I'm exhausted. It is my birthday today. A little cleaning schedule. <sighs> it's hard. It's really hard. Good morning, my loves. Welcome back to another vlog. This one will most likely be part two of my moving vlogs. If you haven't already watched my last moving vlog, definitely go watch that first. If you wanna have a bit of context and see where we're up to with everything, bulk of the stuff is done. Everything is moved in. We're just still waiting on a few things to arrive and still have to unpack and organize a few things. So I thought I would just take you through my week again and show you what else I get up to around the whole moving thing. I'll, you know, obviously show you guys the rest of my week as well. This probably won't purely be about moving, but yeah, I just thought I would take you through my week again. Lots to get done this week. I've still got to do the pantry. I've got to unpack my office, set that up, finish unpacking the bedrooms, just a few little things like that. So we are just about to head out and do some shopping. We went out yesterday to the shops and bought, you know, just a shit ton of stuff for the house. We spent $450 at Kmart and Target. I did a little haul in my last vlog. If you love a good Kmart and Target haul, go check that one out. Heaps of home stuff in there, but there's still just a few little things that we didn't get around to yesterday. So we're gonna go look for those. I feel like moving house is just one big shopping spree, but I'm definitely not complaining. So yeah, we're gonna go do that. And then we need to do our first big grocery shop today. There's just a few little things that we don't have that we need. We've got majority of the stuff. Like I already was pretty self-sufficient at my mom's house I had pretty much all of the food and everything like that that we needed there's just a few little things that we don't have like olive oil and things like that that we were just using with my mum so we need to go to probably a decent sized grocery shop just to stock the place up I don't know if I'll get around to doing the pantry before that or not there's currently like nothing in the pantry just because I wanted to organize like I wanted to put it in organized not just chuck everything in there for the sake of putting everything away and then have to pull everything back out again. So all of our food is still in little bags and boxes just so that I can have everything out and then sort everything out and get all the little containers and everything I need to, to organize the pantry and then put it away organized. All right, it is now five hours later. We just got home from the shops. Just a few random little things that we picked up. Door wedges because our doors are um, don't have those things that they lock into and they keep flying around the place and it's annoying the hell out of us. Some little broom slash mop holder thingies for us to stick on our walls so that we can like tidy up. We've got all like the Dyson vacuum and like the mop and stuff just like chilling in the corner in the laundry but I want to organize that a bit better and get them off the ground and not scraping against the walls. We also impulsively bought another section for our couch. We originally had just this end section here and those two they were just like propped together and it looked really small and weird in the space so we decided to walk into the shops just to like have a look at the couch and we just wanted to like you know get a feel for it and then all of a sudden we were walking out having bought a couch don't know how that happened we had to like squeeze it into the back of lucas's car which was fun but yeah we've got that extra bit for the couch now so it looks much better and fills the space up a bit better i also while we're out just went and got a little cleaning schedule printed out i've always wanted to do something like this just to like keep on top of the cleaning better rather than like you know sort of like comes to sunday and you just all of a sudden you're like fuck the house is a mess and you have to go around and do a million things i'd rather like keep on top of it every single day so i've like split it up into like monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday like the days of the week and then i've got like daily things monthly things and then yearly things so just thought I would do that up and we'll like hang that up on the wall just to keep better track of things and hopefully be able to like keep the house just a bit more tidy year round. And I've just got like little things on there that we don't want to forget, like take out the bins, water the plants, all of that sort of thing. So that'll go up on the wall somewhere. Alrighty, it is time to finally organize the pantry. I have been putting this off the entire time we've been here. Not because I don't want to do it. I'm actually quite excited to organize the pantry just because it's a, it's a big job. So I figured I just needed to get stuck into it. I might not get all of it done today, but I need to at least start and then I can 
potentially finish it off tomorrow. So majority of our food is still in boxes at the moment. We haven't put it away. We've got our, a few things in the pantry. Just some things that we have using the past few days, but this is what it's looking like so far. Everything is literally just chucked in there. So I figured what I needed to do first and foremost is pull everything out, chuck it on the bench and organize it into the little food groups and figure out exactly what I'm working with. I don't want to walk into Kmart blind and not know exactly what containers or anything like that I need. Is what I'm working with. My sections are I've got oils, meal bases, so like pastas, rices, um, mac and cheese, that sort of thing, baking goods, spices, and salts and stuff, savory snacks. Got all of my spreads, drink stuff, so like teas, sweet snacks, canned goods, nuts and seeds, and then that's all of my breakfast stuff. For some reason, we have oats for days. We've got three full containers and Parker bag. So apparently we like oats in this household, or apparently we don't because we've bought a lot but haven't eaten it all. So I think I'm going to come up with a bit of a game plan, sort of draw it down, figure out what I want where. Okay, I've assessed everything I have and what I want to do and I've got my plan. She's looking real rough, but I know what I mean and that's all that matters. I'm going to duck to Kmart now. I just have a feeling that they're not going to have everything I want, but that's okay. I have another Kmart that's sort of near my work, so I can just go there tomorrow afternoon if there is anything that this Kmart doesn't have. But yeah, hopefully they have everything I want. Okay, I am home. I got a big chunk of what I wanted. There were a few things that they didn't have, but majority of the stuff I've got and I think I can work with what I did get. So I got four of these one liter bamboo clear container things. I did want about seven, but this is all they had left. They were like scattered across all the shelves and I looked through every single shelf and I picked up the last four that they had. So the theme for the pantry, even though it doesn't really need a theme, is just going to be clear, like acrylic looking stuff and like bamboo slash light wood. From the same collection, I got three of these ones, four of these littler ones, a few non-pantry related things, but I got us some more of the glasses that we have have a sponge holder for our sink these are like lint slash hair removers that you put in the wash they are made for pet hair but lucas and i lose a lot of hair so i thought we'd give those a go a garment steamer because i needed one and some coat hangers back to the pantry i got three of these acrylic tubs that have got like a cutout on one side i don't think i like the cutout i think i'm gonna have them facing this way a little acrylic tub and one of these under shelf wire basket thingies so that's what i picked up it's quarter past seven now i really need to make some dinner and get ready for bed so i'm gonna chuck all of these things through the wash and then we will resume the pantry organization in the morning good morning the time has finally come to finish off the pantry we've had a full night's sleep all of the containers are washed and we are ready to go so this is roughly the layout that i was thinking i do want to get more of these containers so just picture that all the way along i've got these pantry labels from kmart i'm sure there won't be everything i want in there though so i've also got a whiteboard marker to write on the containers if i need to the writing won't be anywhere near as pretty as the labels but it'll do in the meantime I hate it when it's not a clean root. That's better. Will she get it in one rip? Place your bets. She didn't. Okay, look, the labels are staying on there for now. I'm on a bit of a time crunch. I do need to go to work later, so the labels are staying on there for now. Okay, this is where we're at so far. I'm about 80% done, but I really need to go get ready for work. And I also need to get some different containers just because I was putting things into 
you know, the containers, I realized that some things needed different size containers, that sort of thing. So I will go to work. Hopefully I'll be able to stop in by Kmart tonight. Also, I finally got a text that our dining table is ready. So we currently do not have a dining table and the place just looks a little bit empty and weird, but we've just been waiting for one to come into stock and it's finally in stock. So I can finally go pick up our dining table this afternoon and get it set up, which I'm really excited for. I just feel like once that's in, it'll finally feel like a full house. It's still looking around, looks half empty and like we just moved in, but I feel like that'll make a big difference. Okay, take three of getting this damn pantry done. I'm back from work. I've been shopping, I've got, I'm pretty sure all the containers I need. So let's finally get this finished. So right there, let me bring you closer. So I wanna do, cause I wanna keep this space free now. I wanna do a third row. So what I'm gonna do is I just bought this, just like acrylic container. And I'm gonna, at the back, put it upside down so that I can sit because they don't have like, any taller ones to go at the very back row so i'm going to use that to make like a tiered system if you get what i mean so like just like that i don't know if you can even see that and then for this gap here i've got this container which fits in perfectly and i think i'm going to put all of my drink stuff so like all of my teas hot chocolates things of that assortment if you get what i mean And I don't know with these bins, I don't know. Like I feel like I should have the opening to the front because it makes it easier to grab everything, but I just feel like that looks a lot cleaner. I don't know, what do you guys think? I wish you could answer me. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go that way. That way I can write on the front. Alrighty, the pantry is finally finished and I love it. There's a few things I'm not entirely happy with, but like it's fine, it'll do. It's all finally in there and organized and I, I just love this stuff so much. Like it just makes me so happy to, am I in focus? I don't know if I am. It just makes me so happy to look in there and just see where everything is, know where everything should go. So I'll give you guys a quick little tour of the pantry. So this is how we are looking from afar. So down the bottom, we've got the three big tubs. I have written on the front, but I don't really like it. I do want to get some like proper labels for it. So we've got savory snacks, sweet snacks, and that's all of our backup. So we've got like our backups, tomato sauce and backup milks, things like that. Up to the second level here, we have got all of our canned goods there. I've got a tub with our rices and then a random packet of taco seasoning because I didn't know where else to put it. So I've got like rice, some instant rices, um, and then there's just some like soup packets in the back there because I also didn't know where to put that. That one has pastas and like packet pastas. We've got this two-tiered Lazy Susan with all our spices up the top and then all of our spreads. And then up a level, we've got all of these beautiful containers, which I absolutely love the look of. So I've like got some nuts and seeds along the front here with all the labels on the front. And then a second row with all of my like baking goods and things like that. And then we've got our two flowers in these bigger ones just because they you know are too much to fit in these these ones are only one liter and i think these are two liters so i've got our flowers in there i've got this little thing which will just slide out which has got all of our drink stuff in there so teas hot chocolates milos anything like that up the very top all of our brekkie things here so wheat bix oats granola and a pancake mix little tub with all of our vitamins that we can easily pull out and then all of our other supplements up there i'm thinking of getting something to put all of our proteins in but that can happen at a later date because that's not overly important and then down the bottom we've just got that wire rack thing which i think is just going to have like potatoes onions etc in it and then all of our shopping bags on the bottom which i do want to find something to organize those better but yeah that's how the pantry's looking i 
I'm very happy with it. I feel like everything is so easy to see and easy to access. I like that there's still spare space here and here so that everything can very easily be pulled out and you're not having to move everything around to get into things. And then, excuse the mess in the kitchen. There's shit everywhere. Here is our dining table. She's all ready to put together. I'm just waiting for my mother to come back. She's going to help me get the dining table set up. Trees are in green, the ocean is grey Sky is a vague blue, come away My room is a mess, the cool is a hand My favourite TV shows are capturing I know I must get a ride I must get back in the fight This can't be a surprise I think I'll let it slide making myself some brekkie at the moment. My current obsession for brekkie, which has been on heavy rotation, is just like a breakfast wrap. I've been having it probably six out of seven days of the week. It's just really easy, has enough protein, like, you know, it ticks all the boxes. It doesn't have any veggies, so it doesn't tick that box. So mum came over and helped me out with the table last night. Lucas is away. I don't know if I've mentioned that. That's why Mum came and helped me out with the table and Lucas did just do it with me. He's away at the moment. He does FIFO, so he's away every second week for work, which kind of sucks because he's my best friend and I obviously miss him like crazy and would love to have him home with me, but he's away at the moment. So I've got this big house all to myself. It's kind of sad. I wish that I had him home to experience setting up our home with me obviously he was home for the first for the first four nights in the house he was here so he got to experience the big bulk of setting up the house but there's just still some little things that he's missing out on which sucks but won't be long and he will be home but yeah i just miss him a lot and it's kind of weird coming home to an empty home every single night and not having you know your partner to come home to after a long day give him a nice big cuddle and just experience experience everyday life with but hopefully this won't be a long-term thing hopefully he won't be in the mines for long like we can do it it's just not ideal anyway i'm sure you guys don't really care about <laughs> how much i miss my boyfriend but yeah just cooking some dinner. I have work from some dinner. Wow, some breakfast. I have work at 9.30 today. It's currently eight o'clock. So I probably need to start getting ready. Oh yeah, I mentioned the table, but we didn't actually finish it. It was very easy to put together. It's just a lengthy process. So we put together one of the chairs. The table's not even 100% put together yet. There's a few screws that aren't in there yet. Everything is held together. I'm just not going to use the table yet because there's still a few screws that I'm going to leave for Lucas to put in. And then all of the chairs are sitting behind behind the table there. Um, I'll probably put those together tonight. It just it got too late last night. We were going to be up all night if we were going to complete everything. So I wanted to at least have one chair and have the table up so I could see what it looked like in the space. So yeah, I love it. We've had a lot of trouble choosing a dining table. Most of the dining tables that we saw were just like really thick and chunky, which isn't the vibe for our house. We don't like thick, chunky furniture. This was like the only table that we saw and we were like, oh, I actually like that one. It's from Amart Furniture um, and it suits the vibe of the house. It definitely looks like more of a completed house now that we actually have a semi-finished dining table in here. I just had a nice little cry about missing Lucas. It's hard. It's really hard. I don't think anyone re ever really understands until you're in this position where you're either your partner's in the mines or you're at the mines. And people, no one, no one gets it. People keep saying. <laughs> That's a me right now. 
Um, where was I? Yeah, it's just hard and no one can really comprehend it until you're in this position. It's like if you're with a partner who you have such a strong connection to and you just don't want to miss out on life with them. So many people are like, it's only a week, like he'll be home before you know. And it's like, yeah, a week apart isn't that hard. But then a week apart every single fortnight. It's like, you know, people spend a week apart from their partner all the time and it's not that big of a deal. But how would they feel if every second week with your partner you missed out on and you miss out on half of your year with this person who you just want to spend your life with and you want to experience everything with it's just tough because you know they miss so many things like building the table last night like something that's tiny but like that's our dining table and we wanted to be able to build that together but obviously not everything can wait until he's home and like it's my birthday tomorrow <laughs> i almost keep forgetting about it it's my 24th birthday tomorrow and he's not home for it which he already feels horrible about it and like it's okay i don't mind that much but like things like that like my best friend my partner isn't gonna be here for my birthday he's gonna miss out on lots of little things like that it's just tough it's not like in a codependent way it's in the most like beautiful loving way like we're both independent but we're independent alongside each other and we just want to do life together and i don't think there's anything wrong with missing your boyfriend this much when they're away um obviously to a certain extent like you can't get sad every single time you're not with them but you guys get what i mean <sighs> anyway i don't know i'm okay I have be, had such a busy week and I my mind has been elsewhere that I have been able to, like, I've been fine. Every single afternoon I've came home, I've had things to do, so it hasn't been on my mind. But it's just sometimes when I stop and I think about the fact that he's away and then I think about the fact that he's going to come home and then have to go away again and again, it's just tough. You know, like we miss out on half of our year together. Anyway, I'm not asking for any sympathy. I'm just, you know, putting this out there. This is how I'm feeling. And if you are a wife or a girlfriend of someone who does FIFO or works in the mines, I feel you and I see you and I relate to you. It's alright though. It'll all be okay. Good morning, my loves. Happy Saturday. It is my birthday today big 24 this morning was my first time ever waking up alone on my birthday which i thought would affect me more to be honest but one thing about me is i never feel lonely i'm pretty comfortable in my own company and i will never have the feeling of being lonely and wishing someone was there just for the sake of not being alone like it's hard to explain like i miss Lucas like crazy and I want him here because it's him not because I want someone here anyone here like I never I just never feel lonely um so to be honest waking up this morning alone wasn't all that bad I obviously really wish Lucas was here and I'd love to be spending my birthday with him but waking up alone wasn't that bad and I kind of just had a nice chill morning easing myself into the day, making myself a coffee, and I went and sat out in the sun for a bit, and now I am just getting ready because I'm about to go out for breakfast with my mother. She is taking me out over near the water for some nice brekkie, and then I actually have work today. I didn't bother to request the day off because Lucas is away, uh, so I didn't feel like I needed the day off, so... It's only a short day anyway, we're not open for long on Saturdays, so just go smash out a quick day at work and then I've got dinner tonight as well for my birthday. I'm just trying to get ready and do my makeup and I have not even started unpacking. Oh my lord. Jesus Christ, that sun. <laughs> blinding i haven't even started unpacking my office so all of my makeup is still in this box so i am trying to dig through that box to find things as i go which is kind of stressful oh, that's not even the right oh. i just picked up the wrong foundation Good morning guys, please excuse the wet patch on my boob, I just wiped a bit of food away and now this is what I'm left with, so hopefully it dries and looks normal. I feel like this vlog has been a bit 
all over the place and I do apologize. I'm just getting ready for a friend's birthday lunch at the moment. I actually need to leave in three minutes. So I really need to get a wriggle on. I'm just gonna give my hair a very quick straighten. I'm wearing this dress from Cook Eye. I did wear this dress like two vlogs ago to someone else's birthday lunch. I promise I do own other dresses. I just really like this one. I ended up not picking up my camera at all for the rest of the day yesterday on my birthday. I was a little bit overwhelmed to be honest. Does anyone else get just a bit overwhelmed on their birthdays? There's just so many different places to be. Like I had work and then I had to go to dinner and right before that I had breakfast. And like it was all lovely. Like I enjoyed breakfast, I enjoyed dinner obviously. It's just sometimes having to be so many places in one day stresses me out. And then you've got a bunch of people messaging you, a bunch of people calling you. And it was just a bit overwhelming. Like I did have a very good day at work so that kind of added to the stress but then I don't know everything else just sort of piled up and then I'm, I mean I'm obviously incredibly grateful for everyone that reached out to me on my birthday and all that sort of thing but I I'm an ambivert so socializing does drain me at times so obviously having to talk to so many different people in one day it just really drained my battery so yeah i didn't end up having the mental capacity to pick up i'm really not doing a proper job of straightening my hair here guys i promise i know how to straighten my hair i'm just doing a quick once over so yeah i just didn't have the mental capacity to really pick my camera up but still had a lovely day so yeah just about to head out for lunch i am not going to go for very long just i am so overwhelmed with everything that needs to be done right now i feel like i haven't stopped all week and there's still so much left to get done on the house so i told my friend i would drop in because i wanted to see her for her birthday obviously but i wasn't i'm not going to stay for overly long because as much as i want to see her i'm not going to sacrifice my own mental health and sit there absolutely stressing out about everything that i need to do anyway i need to get a wriggle on i'm gonna duck into the shops on my way home because there's just so much for the house that we still need to get it's just not at all finished and i just i just want a finished house like i just want my house to feel like a home like it does feel like a home i love it here but there's just a lot of things that still aren't completed i still haven't completed the dining chairs what else i still have to fully unpack my office i still have to unpack the bedroom there's just a lot and obviously i'm doing it all alone at the moment which is no one's fault like lucas can't help the fact that he's away but and you know i could have left everything until he got home and then he would have very happily helped me out with everything but i just didn't want to sit in a house that's half done and just leave everything until he gets home so Lots to do. I'm a busy little gal. Um, I have tomorrow, tomorrow off work, thankfully, so I can relax a little bit more. I need to get lots done and then I need to just chill the fuck out because I have not stopped the past week and that's just not good for you. So I need to chill the fuck out tomorrow after I get all of the things done that I need to do. I'm now home from lunch. I'm exhausted i don't know it's just all hit me like a ton of bricks all of a sudden like i've i've had a big week and i think i was just pushing through and like forcing myself to do things and now today it's my first day off of the week and i have just <laughs> hit a brick wall i was honestly just like a shell of a human at lunch anyway i'm just lying on the couch trying to give myself some grace let myself rest didn't even have the energy to go to the shops or anything today so my plan was because i've got today and tomorrow if my plan was to do shit today rest tomorrow but i think i'm gonna rest today and do shit tomorrow just because right now my body is not having it my body is like girl you need a break i'm just lying on the couch watching some youtube and yeah i don't know probably just gonna chill out for a bit and then hopefully have an early night my brain's just not working <laughs> I reckon I'm gonna end this vlog off here because it is Sunday today, so it's the end of the week, so the end of a weekly vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me for the week. Please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed because it really helps support my channel. And I will see you all in my next vlog. Mwah! Bye!